All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. So this video is a pretty common video or commonly requested video. Um, in 2021, there's just a ton, a ton of TVs on the market. Some obviously way better than others. You have some on the low end of the spectrum, like an RCA as a high end, you know, LG and Samsung. But even among the top tier TVs, there's kind of, you know, what TV is the best TV? And in this video, we're going to answer that question. So this TV is the LG OLED C1 in the 55-inch model. It has everything that you can think of, Amazon, Alexa, Google. It's got AirPlay, HomeKit enabled. Um, it's OLED. It has a 120 refresh rate for games and stuff like that. It has NVIDIA G-Sync support. So overall, a, you know, a well-rounded TV. It's also OLED, so all of the pixels are individually powered, so the blacks um, are very vibrant um, and there's a lot of perks to having um, an OLED TV. We had a general uh, Vizio 55-inch uh, smart TV, and there were no issues with it at all, and it's a great TV, but we thought that it was time for an upgrade for the studio. So this TV, as you can see at the top, the bezels are just super, super thin. I think it's like five pieces of paper or something like that on the top. It's just insanely thin. So as you see, we'll rotate it here, and you'll see how thin this TV actually is. Um, I actually wanted to carry it from the bottom because I didn't want to, you know, snap it from the top or anything because I was, you know, just scared of how thin this TV actually was. See, look, paper thin. But we're going to mount this TV, so we're going to put it here on the couch and then get this mount up. We have a TV stand, um, which you'll see here in a second. It's just a general TV stand, um, but the blue uh, goes on the right side, the white on the left, and we'll just, you know, plug it in screw it in and you know basically plug and play so as you can see weenie uh wanted to say hello so we're up in the wiener dog all right here's the, the left side i'm just gonna hold it here so she uh, can screw it in a little faster and you know a little bit of stability i also didn't want to you know push too hard where i felt like the tv would crack but i also wanted to you know firm enough where it would actually stay in place And as you can see here, I'm just unwinding the uh, the cable, and there's actually a zip tie at the very top. So I tried to pull it out, but it didn't come. And I was like, oh, there's a zip tie right here. So we're going to undo that, and then we're just going to lift the TV up, and we are going to put it on the mount. As you can see, there's a big gap there uh, between the left and the right wall mount. And that's for if you want to have it you know, actually sitting on the stand. Uh, but this one, for you know, for this purpose and everything, we're just gonna actually gonna mount it. So she's gonna get the left side. I'm gonna get the right side. We're just gonna put it straight down. She's gonna then go uh, on to the left and to the right, and we're gonna make sure that it's centered. Because obviously we don't want to have it, you know, off centered or something like that. And then just me double checking to make sure that it's centered. It's nice and centered. And then she's actually going to go behind both sides and clamp it down to make sure that it actually doesn't come out, um, which is obviously a big safety thing, right? And make sure that it's nice and secure. Um, do the unpeel. We already unpeeled the back um, previously, as you saw. Um, you want to make sure that that's peeled off so it doesn't actually melt on there. Um, there could be some cooling issues, you know, and, and stuff like that. So, and then I'm going to route this cable through the top um, to the left side and down, and then same thing for the sound bar. I'll fix it later, but it's just to get it basically out of the way for right now, um, just so it's not, you know, being intrusive. And as you can see here, I'm putting that big plastic piece on right now um, and that just you know it's for the stand to sit in but like I said we're not using that stand and that's to the left of me um, right by my bum if you want to see what that stand looks like plug in the optical audio for the sound bar and the sub we use the Sony I think it's HX or M3 3000 or something like that I got it on clearance at Target and it works very well and it does a job so there's no need to replace that um, and then now we're going to go into the setup process. So if you look on the remote, it's actually a wheel on the, the front of it that you can use to scroll up and down and actually pull up a mouse. See? So as you can see that, um, we're, we're pulling it up right now. And it's called the magic mouse, so 
and it's a very advanced mouse. And you can also set this up via, you know, your mobile device, your TV. Um, we opted to just do the TV method. The, the language in the country was already set. I just had to select the time zone, and there was no issues there. Um, password was put in. Um, it, we put the pa wrong password in twice, and it didn't take, but the third time it took fine. Um, Netflix updated. Uh, we signed in via the web feature, um, so we didn't have to type it in. But as you can see, there's a mouse moving, um, and that's just the remote being moved, um, I think, with an IR sensor or infrared sensor, which is pretty advanced stuff. Um, we did change some of the, the movie settings. Uh, I think we kept it on standard, and uh, we put a timer for, you know, if it's on for too long, it turns off or something like that. Um, but other than that, it was pretty much plug in and play. We did have to create an LG account, which we linked to a the Amazon Prime, which is, as you can see, why um, Amazon was linked already right off the bat. And no updates or anything was required. Disney Plus, 5 megabyte update, super small. Um, it loaded up fine and even did an animation um, on this on the newer OLED screens. So, um, typed in the code, went to the website, and this was also pretty plug and play. They really mainstream this, uh, you know, streamline these kind of features to just sign in nice and easily. Um, there's free channels and stuff on here. We chose to opt out of that uh, because nine times out of ten they're just not good. Um, and there's a lot of ads, and I hate ads. So, that's what we ended up doing. We don't have it set to game mode right now because we're going to do that off of the input. So via, you know, if I have HDMI 2 plugged into the PS5, that's what we're going to do the low latency input for. Uh, I do have an HDMI splitter for five outputs um, to be caught by the Elgato stream, um, stream capture card, but I have to get a, lar a longer HDMI cord uh, because at the moment it is not long enough, so therefore it's just not working. And I can fix that um, another time. As you can see, the remote's pretty nice. Um, Hulu, a 38 megabyte download, uh, happened pretty quickly as well. Our, we don't have bad internet, so, you know, very thankful for that. And then login. 